Hey guys, this is Antonio Tarver, the channel, and you're listening to Tarver's Table. It's the recap of the big undisputed Super Middleweight Championship last weekend. Man, we saw Caleb uh, Plant fight his butt off, giving Canelo all he can handle down the stretch. Uh, had the right strategy, he really did. Um, the game plan was perfect. Um, that was definitely the way to beat Canelo. But I believe he had needed to just press a little bit more, be a little bit more assertive. Uh, I didn't see any body attack. I think that body attack would have served him well down the stretch, would have took a little steam off of Canelo. Probably wouldn't have had enough in the tank to finish him. Could have seen that decision. But you know, hindsight is always 2020. I think Caleb Plant uh, proved that he's one of the top dogs in that division. And, uh, you know, if Canelo moves up or moves on, those, belt, those belts become vacant. And I can see Caleb Plant uh, definitely fighting and uh, becoming world champion again. So we'll be keeping an eye on him. Uh, where does Canelo go from here? Man, they talking about uh, him going up to light heavyweight and even uh, him, I hear them mentioning the bridge water weight. I mean, if he come back to the bridge water weight, I might have to come out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> but no, all jokes aside, I mean, I think that they are just feeling that, you know, Canelo is on another level right now with his ability, you know, and uh, right now I don't think his team care who's in front of him. I think they feel confident that he can beat Benavidez or uh, Jamal Charlo for that reason, uh, for that reason. I mean, yeah, I mean, they're very confident right now. He's the undisputed and, and he's knocking these guys out. You know what I mean? He's not going to the decision. He's finishing these guys. He's finishing world champions. That's a statement that he's making. And uh, with the confidence Canelo is riding on right now, I mean, I don't think uh, in my mind, I don't, I don't see him fearing any of those fighters. Uh, but I will say this, it took him a little longer to get the job done this time around. Um, you know, um, you know, with, with Caleb Plant not really being noted as a big puncher, I mean, you would uh, think that Canelo would have uh, really uh, forced that issue a little earlier. But hey, as with age comes, you know, uh, father time. And I'll be the first one to step out and say, you know, uh, even though he's at the top of his game right now, you know, um, you know, Caleb Plant proved that with the right uh, mindset, you know, with the right assertiveness and aggressiveness and with the right type of punching power, you know, you 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 can give, uh, you know, Canelo a uh, run for his money, but that's going to take, again, a special type of talent, special type of talent that a lot of people believe uh, David Benavidez and guys like Charlo has. So, and don't forget Andre out there. Don't forget Andre out there. That's, uh, you know, a lot of people believe has the perfect style to beat Canelo. So we'll keep an eye on that and uh, see what's Canelo next move. There you have it. You've been listening to Tarver's Tape. Until the next time, stay safe.